He says he is a brother to the militia with a dislike for the government, especially for law enforcement. And after you see what cops say they found at his two homes, you get the feeling he's not all talk. Here's News Sartine's Alex Tomlin. Dick Jessica, Todd Bartels is well known to law enforcement, and he thinks the rules don't apply to him. What cops say they found on him could have killed a lot of people. Cops know Todd Bartels all too well. He refuses to register his truck because he's anti-government. We know what state police found in his home in reserve, the mountain town between Gallup and Silver City, and in his RV hidden out in the woods. Cops found these drawings and these weapons. They knew they had an extremist on their hands. 8.09 p.m. Halloween, serving a search warrant, 36 Cedar Lane, the Todd Bartell residence. Katrin County deputies and state police arrested Bartels in October after they say he assaulted a deputy and rams another's car after a traffic stop. Bartels claims deputies in the area are after him and that they are planning evidence against him. His ramblings during the arrest led them to get warrants for his RV in the woods and for a home he shared with his girlfriend. Man, we have a search warrant. Why are you here? Please Man, we have a search warrant. Not only was Bartels building tripwire bombs and IEDs, he also crafted a homemade rocket launcher. He was thinking of ways to take down a helicopter and even an Osprey. You can see his sketches on a notebook seized from his home all part of a massive stack of evidence we obtained from state police. Cops say they also found information on militia and anti-government groups and counterfeit $20 bills in Bartel's notebooks. Bartels has been charged with everything from making and having explosives to aggravated assault on cops and fleeing. He's still behind bars in Catherine County. Jessica? Okay, Alex, Todd Bartels also had detailed information about deputies he didn't like in those stacks of notebooks.